so guys uh, i have prepared a small note for the setup so okay so you know you can deploy a nginx application in gki cluster in two ways one is cli another is gui okay so i will show you and uh, on both the methods okay so that it will be easy uh, for you to understand the things okay uh, so the deployment step one deployment step is first step is we need to create a deployment for the nginx application with a replica tool okay so it is depend on your uh, requirement so you can create with uh, replica 3 4 5 okay and also you can if you are pre initially creating one replica then you can scale up to you can scale up to 4 or 5 whatever uh, as per your wish and also you can scale down also later a point of time okay so we'll use in that case qctl run then deployment name hyphen hyphen image image name will be nginx and number of replica replicas hyphen hyphen replica uh, space 2 so in my case i am creating two replica okay guys this can uh, this is uh, this is command line through cli if you'll run in the cli this command so it will uh, create a deployment with a replica 2 so same thing can be achieved by the gui so on the both the methods i will show you then after creation deployment we will expose the deployment to the external world so that the nginx application can be accessed from the outside world okay then here some mis uh, miscellaneous command uh, so you know uh, through day-to-day -day operation you can use this command uh, to get some information okay that i'll show you so first thing uh, we'll create a deployment okay so okay guys i have already logged into the this is the google cloud platform uh, uh, gui console okay this is the dashboard okay so first i will go to uh, under compute this is kubernetes engine okay under kubernetes engine i will click on clusters okay so on last session we had created one cluster called mind test cluster okay so inside the test cluster now we will uh, you know uh, deploy the applications nginx applications so the cluster size is 3 number of core is 3 vcpu so per node there is one uh, you know one core cpu okay so per core uh, that is 3 point uh, something gb per node node wise so total is 11.25 gb okay so i will click on connect okay so uh, you can if you have set up uh, you know uh, uh, that uh, google cli on your machine on your local machine then you can copy this command then you can run to connect the cluster so or else there is another method run in cloud cell so here in the cloud the google uh, gcp will provide you a uh, interface uh, for the uh, that google cli so i will click on run in cloud cell okay so it will you know uh, temporarily it will launch in uh, google cli machine through which you can connect to the cluster so now uh, you know uh, i am connect to the cluster so same thing i can get the information if i will give you know uh, cube ctl get nodes okay so if i'll uh, type this command then it will show me so you can see there is a uh, three node okay this is one node second node third node because this cluster consists of three nodes so you can see also there is cluster size is three okay so now we'll create a deployment so uh, through gui and th through cli how we can do i'll show you so simply under cluster i will click on deploy okay I clicked on deploy. Okay, so for the timing, I will close this tab, CLI tab. I will show you here. So, okay, so how to create a deployment? So, in the just I clicked on a create a deployment. So, existing container image or new container image. So, you can create a deployment from a existing. So, existing is Nginx latest or else you can if you have uh, another container Im Im image then you can select the new container image so i will go with the nginx underscore uh, colon latest okay now you can set the environment variable if you have or else you can go then add container then continue okay so simply i will go with the continue okay so it is asking the second step it is asking the uh, application name or deployment name 
suppose i will uh, give my test deployment my test deployment okay my test deployment then namespace is default okay namespace is default only if you want to give any label you can give label by default whatever things i will go then you can see then you can see uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, if you click on deploy then the deployment will start okay it will deploy a cluster so there is initially there is no option number of replica to you cannot choose that number of replica at initial okay if you are doing through gui okay so this is the if you click on view yml so it will show you the yml code for you okay this is the yml code so through your yml code you you will able to deploy the uh, you, you can create a deployment so if i'll create a yml file then i'll if i'll done qctl create hyphen f then the yml code this is the yml uh, if i'll paste this yml code in a file then through which also i can i will able to create a deployment okay so uh, in this way you can create a deployment through gui so I am planning to do then now I will show you through the CLI okay so what I will do now so I will open the I will connect to the cluster then run in cloud cell okay now it is now it is connected it connect to cluster so now simply through CLI what I will do kubectl run then deployment name number of replica 2 so if you are doing through you know uh, you know through uh, uh, GUI so by default it will not ask the number of replica you want to go by default it will create a one replica then after that once uh, deployment created you can go to the uh, you know uh, the um, how much how many replica you want you can scale up okay so now i will uh, do one thing so we need to type kubectl okay then run okay then deployment name suppose my deployment name is my test deployment okay then hyphen hyphen image equal to nginx okay hyphen hyphen nginx okay hyphen hyphen not equal to then hyphen hyphen replica 2 nginx nginx then hyphen hyphen replicas 2 so in my case uh, i am creating a deployment and uh, i know with a replica 2 so my deployment name is my test deployment so my test deployment okay kubectl run my test deployment hyphen hyphen image image name is nginx then replica equal to replica count is 2 simply i will here so now so what it is saying that deployment of my test deployment created okay so if through gui also you can show this uh, i will get the information so if i'll give q ctl get all okay kubectl get all so now you can see this uh, you know there is a two pod got created because uh, we created the two uh, replica so that's why a two pod created for the uh, you know for the two uh, for the two replica so so now same thing we can see from the gui also so if i go to workload then you can see my deployment name is what is my deployment name? my test deployment right so if i click on my test deployment then a cluster name is my test cluster then namespace is default then you can see the same thing whatever iqctl get uh, all same thing you can uh, know so through uh, see through the gui so this is the two uh, pod is running okay 
okay so now we created a de deployment right so now the second thing uh, you know i will show you you can edit the deployment so you can uh, take action like you can scale up scale down so if you can click on scale so now replica count is two so you can move to three or four okay that you can do also then uh, auto scale you can enable auto scale okay ruling update okay if you want to uh, know uh, you know want to uh, update something uh, in the you know uh, in the configuration then you can do the same thing also okay if i'll click on edit then if you want to suppose i want to you know uh, uh, you know want to suppose change the uh, image name like engine is uh, some version some version name i want to give so you can uh, change here also engine x something image name engine x colon latest or some other name you can use then you have to go to the ruling updates okay so these are the operation you can do so now uh, we created a deployment the second step what we are going to do we need to uh, expose this i uh, you know uh, this application to the outside world so this engine is now the engine is application is not uh, accessible from the uh, outside world so the second option after creation of deployment the second things we need to uh, what we need to do we need to expose this uh, deployment okay so i will click on the deployment now what i will do action if you click on expose okay i click on expose the port number 80 target port node is not required then service type is cluster ip node pool so i will go with the load balancer then i will click on expose okay now this application exposed to outside world okay So now friends it is creating service endpoint okay if i'll click here so now it is creating uh, the status is creating endpoints through which the outside uh, you know on the user can able to access the nginx application so now friends uh, that uh, you know services got uh, created okay so this is my uh, service name okay what am i test deployment uh, pl this is the default name you can rename also okay so this is the endpoint through which you know uh, uh, from you know the nginx application can be accessible from the outside world so if i click on here then nginx application will so uh, see so now this is the default page of applications okay so in this way you can set 